Howdy y'all, Mr. Kazi here with another lesson in chemistry and today we're going to do a homework helper. We're going to do one on naming acids and you're going to need a periodic table. You're going to need your polyatomic ion chart and let's get started. I'm going to make some assumptions here. I'm going to assume you know the periodic table, that you understand the polyatomic ions, that you know the rules for naming acids, and that you understand oxy acids. And of course, if you don't know all of these, go to my YouTube channel and find a lesson on it and listen to it. All right, the problem. Name the following acids. Now, the first thing you do when you want to name an acid is you determine what kind of acids it is. There are basically two kinds of acids. There are binary acids and oxy acids. If you'll notice that HF and HCN are binary acids and H2SO4 and H3PO3 are oxy acids. So let's go to the magic blackboard and name them. The binary acids such as HF and let's uh, bring up the rules uh, in the little box to the right there, you'll see there's the rules for the acids. And it says write hydro, so let's do that. Write hydro. Then add the root of the other part. Now you'll notice that the other part is fluorine. And so the uh, root for fluorine is F-L-U-O-R, fluor. And then add IC and the word acid. And we have hydrofluoric acid. All right, let's try another one. HCN. So we'll write hydro. Then notice that our second part there is CN and that's cyanide and the root for cyanide is cyan. So we'll write cyan, add IC and the word acid. And we have hydrocyanic acid. They're really just that simple. Now let's jump over and do some oxy acids. H2SO4 and then what we want to remember here is our rules and that the uh, oxy acids are named according to their polyatomic ion. So SO4 is the polyatomic ion and it means sulfate. So if you'll notice over here, we're going to add IC. ATE means add IC. So sulfuric acid. And notice we used sulfur instead of sulf. For whatever reason, on a lot of these compounds, instead of using sulf, we use sulfur. We do the same thing with phosphorus as well. All right, let's look at H3PO3. Look at the polyatomic ion. And that is phosphite, and you can find that on your polyatomic ion sheet. And of course, that means add O-U-S. So I-T-E, O-U-S, phosphorus acid. It's really just that easy. Let's do a recap. We looked at binary acids and oxy acid. We named the binary acids. We then named the oxy acids. Quick little homework helper. If you have any questions, send an email to Mr. Kazi at mrkazi.com. Check out my uh, videos at my website. And you can also go to uh, YouTube and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Lots of great information there. Happy Island,